I want to ask you about last season when you came back. Obviously, you were cleared to play in January, but how long was it till you felt like yourself? Yeah, I mean that's that's a hard one. Uh, just missing so much time. Uh, I wasn't feeling great when I first got back, but uh, yeah, I mean it's tough coming back from an injury like that. Uh, I'm honestly feeling my best kind of right now after taking some time off uh, this summer and just letting everything kind of settle down. Can you take us through what the injury was and what the surgery you had? Because I don't know if we ever really got all those details. Yeah, I, uh, it's like a labrum tear that was repaired and then uh, like like an impingement type of deal where they, they uh, reshaped it, kind of to fit properly. So this was your right hip? Yeah, left hip. Left hip. How frustrating was that recovery, like I know it takes a while. Was there times where you would lose patience and want to hit the speed up? Yeah, it was definitely frustrating, but I knew going into it that it was going to be a long process. Uh, it's tough watching the team play and to have to sit in the stands and not be able to go on road trips and sit back in Lehigh by yourself. And uh, But I knew that's what was going to be part of the whole process there. The off ice, I think, is probably more important for you at the at this point, how do you? You said you feel it feels good now, but what have you sort of done to improve? You know, in that area where it's you know not going to be a problem again. Yeah, the trainers here have helped me a lot. Uh, I've been out here since June, and uh, I think just taking that original month or so off, and then uh, like a lot of mobility work, and uh, then as long as that mobility work, some strength training to where now I feel like. Uh, I can get to new ranges of motion and uh, much more powerful, so I feel uh, feeling pretty good. It's one of those things where you don't think about it anymore because there's that period where you come back where if I do this too much, maybe it'll start hurting again. Are you kind of past that? Yeah, it's like you're right in the middle of the season, and uh, I was January when I come back, so everyone's mid mid season form, and I'm just coming back. So we're playing a lot of games and uh, not a lot of time to stay in the gym and work out, and so uh, this summer's big for me and. Uh, just kind of uh, taking advantage of the time I didn't really have last summer. Do you feel like you have to prove yourself sort of all over again? Because you signed, you came in, you got a couple of games in the NHL, and maybe you thought prior to the injury you would have a, a bigger chance to make the NHL roster than the injury happened. Do you feel like you're sort of, not square one, but where you sort of have to remind everybody who you are because of how much time you missed? I mean, I think everyone's probably got to do that all the time. Uh, it's kind of in this business. Uh, you're only as good as kind of how you've been playing recently, but uh, I wouldn't say I'm at step one. I think a lot of these guys have seen me play in the past, and uh, but yeah, I mean, there's always something to prove. Wait, when you were in Lehigh and your team was traveling, you couldn't go and stuff like that. Was there anyone you kind of relied on, whether it be on the staff or like family members, to kind of help you get through that period? Yeah, all the staff members were really good. Uh, uh, there was a couple other guys injured with me. Uh, so that that was big. Uh, where there was a couple other guys that kind of stayed back and someone to uh, kind of hang out with uh, instead of just being alone all the time. But uh, yeah, it, it was it was good. The staff members were good to me, and all the players were good to me while I was injured. So uh, everything went well. Riley said just the little bit he's seen of you here. You look different. You look stronger. You look a little bit more physically fit just as you've gotten older do you feel stronger just not just on the ice off the ice just in all areas of your team yeah I think I'm growing into my body as I get older uh, I think that when you're young uh, it's kind of it's tough to play uh, it's, a, it's a man's game out there and everyone's older and more mature so uh, the older you get the kind of easier it becomes on the off ice portion of the game so uh, yeah feeling good the question kind of with you is it's your skating can it be good enough quick enough to get you to the NHL level now that you're healthy do you feel like your skating's improved where you know it's better maybe or is it where it was pre-injury are you better than you were pre-injury you think yeah I think I am better where than I was pre-injury I think uh, every year I've improved uh, my skating and as well as other aspects of the game but uh, yeah I know that's a big talking point in my game but uh, I think that uh, I'm feeling good out there. I'm feeling fast. I feel quick. So, uh, uh, yeah, I feel good. So there, there are two different things. There's the quickness and the speed. The quickness is more the agility, the moving, and that's sort of maybe where the injury comes into play. Do you feel that it's where it needs to be and it's going to keep getting better? Yeah, I, th I think it's only going to keep getting better. Uh, the staff here has helped me a lot with 
in the weight room and I feel quick. Uh, I think that's probably the most important thing in my skating is to be a, be quick down there. Uh, there's a lot of big defensemen in both leagues, so uh, just use the quickness to my advantage as a smaller guy and I think uh, it's improved throughout the summer. The Flyers have kind of embraced this rebuild. Is that kind of an intriguing opportunity for you just given it seems like there's going to be opportunity for younger guys to, to grab roles? Yeah, I think that there's some opportunity in the lineup, and I think that uh, there's some opportunity for a lot of guys, and I think uh, a lot of guys are going to get chances and shots this year, and I think uh, it's, a, it's a, good year, a good year to be a prospect here, and I think that this organization is going in the right direction with the way they've drafted and uh, what they've done in the last few years. Are you hoping to push for the Flyers in camp? Is that like, are you thinking Lehigh? Are you thinking Flyers or both? I think everyone's goal is to make the Flyers. No one's going in there trying to make uh, the AHL team. But yeah, it's my goal at the end of the year is to, or the end of this camp is uh, to be an NHL player. Have you talked to either Danny Briere or John Tortorella about their expectations for you, not just here, getting into rookie camp and, and then training camp in September? Yeah, I've talked to them. We've had some conversations. Uh, they're clear with what they want from me, and uh, I'm an older guy at this camp, and I think that it's an opportunity for me to be a leader, and uh, there's a lot of younger guys that uh, that I have a little more experience with playing a year of pro, and I think that uh, it, it helps me, and I think that it's an opportunity for me to be a leader. And they're happy with the development, the progression you've made to this point? Yeah, they're happy. It's... Uh, no one can see the future. No one knows when you're going to be an NHL player, where you're going to be at at any time. So uh, I think both sides are happy.